Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start of summer. Beaches are likely to be packed with the nice weather. You can see they're already packed right now. Even if the water isn't too warm yet, but humans aren't the only ones there. You could see seals maybe even sharks in the water. Welcome back here at For Everyone. Joining me now is Executive Director of the Atlantic Shark Institute, John Dodd. Now, John, we've seen the population of seals increasing. You talked about this with me about a month ago um, yes. on the Rhode Island coast specifically. So what does this mean as beach season really starts up? Yeah, I think it means that there's a changing dynamic going on, you know, relative to seals in Rhode Island. We've really seen a significant increase at Block Island in the last few seasons. We had a count recently of over 700 seals. Wow. Last summer it was about 350. The summer, the season before that, it was about 250. So we're seeing a significant increase in seals, particularly gray seals. Not sure if they're new or they're just migrating up and back from Monomoy points in the Cape but it's a pretty interesting phenomenon that we're really keeping a close eye on. And you, have you been tracking the seals, right? Yeah, we just started for the first time, we started putting acoustic tags on seals and also satellite tags. So when they're above the water or beneath the water, we can track them. So we've put our 11th on, it's Mystic Aquarium, Rhode Island DEM, and we're part of that study. So pretty exciting work. Obviously a little bit concerning too, that there sure, are so many sure. seals uh, yep. because they do attract sharks as we know. Yeah. So do people have anything to be concerned about when you know going to the beach this year? We, we, we would caution against if there's, a, if there's a group of seals swimming in the water with them, you know, engaging them, probably don't want to do that. Because these, by the way, these seals can be six, seven, eight hundred pounds themselves. So most of the mm -hmm. time we see them, they're smaller. They can be considerable. But right now we don't have any resident large white sharks in Rhode Island. They move through. Part of this study is as we see the seal population growing, might we end up with a resident, a large resident. Right now they all go to the Cape because there's 50,000 seals there. But we're really surprised at the growth in the seal population, thinking someday it's going to hit a tipping point. So far it hasn't, which is good news for all of us. So you, we haven't seen sharks in Massachusetts, though, right? Not in Rhode Island waters, but kind of right over the state line. 50,000 seals in, Cape, in the Cape attracts all the white sharks. They've got hundreds up there in the summertime. They do come through Black Island. We do track a lot of them. We detect a lot of them. So far, the small ones, the you know, young of the year and the newborns, they'll stick around. The large ones keep going because the food source is just too big up there. So, so far, we get them as visitors, but not as residents, which is good. Okay, so the bottom line is if you see a lot of seals, perhaps stay away. Yep. There may possibly be a shark nearby, but even if not, you don't want to get too close to seals. You don't want to get too close. To, they're, they're, they're a lot bigger than people think they are, and they can be a little aggressive. So cute, but keep your distance. All right, very interesting as we approach the beach season. John, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you. Appreciate it.